biggest advantage we have over drones in the region and the world is that our UAVs are indigenous and completely Iranian, that is, we have used and continue to use a completely indigenous technology in construction, use, and overhaul. We are not dependent on any country in supplying the UAV production chain, and this is our biggest advantage. It is possible for us to replace this cycle and continue it, Brigadier General Sharm Hassanajid said in an interview with Erna published on Saturday. Iranian drones had been designed and manufactured in accordance with the regional conditions in terms of climate and strategic areas of different parts of the country, the commander highlighted. Iran has different weather seasons and our birds can perform missions in different weather conditions, in the sea, mountains, desert and in different climatic conditions, the military official explained. referred to an increase in the combat capability of the armed forces after the victory of the 1979 Islamic Revolution. He said, what is happening today in the ground forces and the armed forces is the result of deep thought and a very valuable experience from eight years of sacred defense. Eight years of sacred defense is a sustainable source that we have used and will use many times. The sacred defense refers to resistance against the invading Saddam Hussein army against Iran in the 1980s. The war that Saddam launched against Iran in September 1980 lasted until August 1988. The commander stated achieving high-tech science and capabilities in the field of drones is the result of the experiences that armed forces had gained during the eight years of sacred defense, noting that at that time, we wanted to be able to identify and monitor mountainous areas to stop the enemy. Explaining the necessities of using UAVs in today's wars, the commander said, the idea of using UAVs was in fact according to the orders of the supreme leader of the revolution. He said in one of his speeches that the Navy had drones before the revolution and advised that the army should strengthen these drones and do something that is in line with the current situation, so the army entered this field by observing the leader's orders. Stating that the army ground forces have seriously entered the field of UAVs over the past 12 years, the general said that in the early years, the needs and requirements for reconnaissance and surveillance in drills, actions near borders, and the domestic areas created a new mindset in the armed forces. At that time, he said, drones were only for reconnaissance and surveillance round-the-clock readiness to carry out missions. Elsewhere in his remarks, General Hassanajid said the durability of flights and operational range of Iranian drones were such. That UAV group of the Army Ground Forces can carry out reconnaissance, surveillance, and even combat missions round-the-clock, wherever it is intended and communicated to it. The commander also reiterated reality was that the wars are not like the past or in a classical form. Wars and conflicts have shifted to impact-oriented wars and the use of enemy operational depth, he said, adding with this view, wars have also changed in terms of content and form. The use of drones supports part of the idea that we should look for new equipment to be more effective on the enemy. Hassanajid stated, today, we can penetrate the enemy's operational depth with drones and take direct actions that will have a great impact on the enemy forces. In addition, predetermined and sensitive areas can be hit using drones. We are ready to use all kinds of drones. 
referring to the changes in the form and content of wars and the use of electronic tools, the general said. UAVs have the ability to make extensive use of electronic warfare technology and prepare the ground for operations and combat operations of the ground, naval and air forces. We consider ourselves the defenders of this nation and people and we are at the forefront of defending this country. Wherever it is felt that the ground forces can demonstrate their capabilities to protect the borders of the Islamic Republic of Iran, it is there, and it has proved this spirit and readiness in eight years of sacred defense. He said the army ground forces succeeded to master the technology to produce drones despite sanctions, adding that drones are the result of creativity by the youth in the army. And other organizations' sanctions and maximum pressure did not prevent the designers, and today we have very good conditions in the field of UAVs, so we passed production of the reconnaissance and surveillance UAVs. General Hassan Ajid highlighted that today the strategy of the ground forces has departed from a purely defensive force, and it now has an offensive view. With that in mind, he said, simply having UAVs for reconnaissance could not meet the ground forces' needs. In the last five years, we have gone through.